Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, that's nice to see. Yeah, Too bad cool. they didn't have a better day for it. Yeah, especially this morning. Yeah, a ton of rain. This afternoon, I mean, not nice, but not as wet. At mm -hmm. least you could get around without an umbrella. We've got some changes coming. You're going to need that umbrella. I hope you've kept it handy. Holy cow, tomorrow is going to be a wet day. Want to take you around the region. This isn't going to surprise you. I mean, visibility at some places, not ideal. Look at Lindenville up in the Northeast Kingdom, just 40 degrees. Visibility not looking good in Montpelier State House. You can hardly see it through there. We've got 30s and 40s on the weather map right now. Shazy at 44, Burlington 46, a little bit colder. Waitsfield, where it's 39 right now. How about Springfield at 45, 46 degrees in Lebanon? Let me give you some weather headlines here. We've got a steady rain on the way for tomorrow. It may lighten up a little bit by later in the day, but most of the day is certainly going to be very wet. North wind is going to pick up. We're going to find gusts in the 20s. I mean, it's not going to be a real problem, but you're going to notice it. I, well, some of that some of that rain is going to kind of go sideways. It's going to be drier around here, though, after tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, also on Friday. So let's key in on the future cast wind gusts here. First thing tomorrow morning, you know, not bad. We'll take you through the day. By the afternoon, the gusts are picking up. So we're in the teens. Now we're pushing the 20s in southern Vermont. And then we'll take you through the nighttime where it continues to be pretty gusty around here. This is Tuesday night into Wednesday. Wednesday, even though it's going to be better, we're going to see some sunshine around here. It's still going to be on the breezy side. So just be aware of that for the next couple of days. Here's what we've got on Storm Tracker right now. We've got just a couple of areas with drizzle and, you know, very light rain happening. Northern Vermont, northern New York, really right over Lake Champlain. But this is what we're watching because this system is going to come our way. Low pressure develops off the coast. This thing deepens. And I'll tell you on a weather map, it looks like a classic nor'easter where we would expect to see a lot of snow, but it's just not quite that cold yet. So look at the rain on tomorrow's planner. Yeah, late in the day, starting to lighten up, certainly east of Lake Champlain. And finally, we catch a break by tomorrow evening. So let's time it out. Eight o'clock tonight. I mean, we may see a few showers or sprinkles and then look at how things are changing by first thing tomorrow morning. This is seven o'clock. The steady rain pretty much here. And there you have it throughout the day, breaking up maybe a little bit as you come on off to the east late in the day, but not that much. And here comes your Wednesday because that low is off the coast. We're still catching that northerly flow. We are going to end up with some sunshine but that's after we get through tomorrow where some of us may see upwards of an inch of rain in some spots, Champlain Valley, half an inch or just a little bit more. So a few showers out there tonight. Rain expected toward dawn. Temperatures not dropping much at all. For tomorrow, we've got a steady rain. We are pushing 50 or so right in the Champlain Valley, at least in Plattsburgh. 53 Burlington, 52 degrees in Springfield. Five-day forecast. Gonna be wet tomorrow, 53. 54 Wednesday, clouds giving way to a mix of sun and clouds. Thursday, Friday look good, mid 50s, but rain showers certainly look like they're coming back for Saturday. Also on Sunday, of course, that's Halloween. After that, things are looking drier.